So let's start off just um, sort of taking everyone through the sort of main types of antennas that you get. Um, the, the most common one I would say is the um, Yagi or Yagi Uda antenna, typically used for television. But lo and behold, we actually do find people using them for cellular. Now, of course, they are very narrow band, so used to work okay when you only got the 900 megahertz band or only a narrow band, but really not desirable. People call this guy, the lock periodic dipole array, a Yagi, but it isn't a Yagi. This guy's got very long elements on the one end and much sh um, shorter ones in the front, and it's actually got a feed line linking them. This guy can actually cover any band that you design it for, and that's an excellent, although a bit big, but an excellent antenna giving you high gain over the whole bandwidth, or whichever bandwidth you design it for. Omnis is the most interesting. What you see here is effectively a high gain Omni. Now, high gain and Omni seem to be um, uh, contradictory in terms, but you can actually increase the gain of an Omni, and I'll explain what's important in these. Just to note that there's very few people, honestly, worldwide, that can design these type of antennas to cover a wide frequency band. Extremely difficult to get an uh, Omni antenna to, uh, to have both gain and cover a wide bandwidth. Panel antennas, very common. Um, th these typically have got a directional beam, and the beam gain is proportional to the area of the, or the size of the panel. It's very important. Uh, if people are interested, we can actually give you equations that tell you what's the maximum gain you can get out of a specific size, and we often see specifications claiming gains that's clearly impossible in terms of the size of the antenna. We've got small antennas, we call it a puck, refers to an ice hockey puck. Small enclosure, really designed for on vehicles, on devices, uh, machines, instruments, and so forth. And clearly that antenna, you don't want, or you cannot actually get high gain out of it. And you want it just to radiate satisfactorily at all the frequencies. And remember this thing about all frequencies and in all directions. And I'll discuss both of those. MIMO, I'll explain in more detail, but these are, we're using two antennas for two by two MIMO. Very soon we'll use four by four MIMO and so forth, but mainly it's two by two MIMO at the moment. So it's two antennas sometimes in one enclosure, and you can also use two separate antennas. But if you use two by two MIMO, you can effectively double your data rate if they are so-called decorrelated, and I'll explain it a bit better later. Helical antennas, these are directional, mainly used in mines and tunnels. Excellent propagation because they're circularly polarized. And uh, we've got reflector antennas, which one commonly see, but not often used for the whole cellular bands. Quite often used in Wi-Fi communication. 